I'm sad. I mean, as a Top Gear fan, I would like it to have continued and like Jeremy to have continued. But I think that Tony Hall's been boxed into a corner. Uh, he can't make any other decision than the one he's had to make because he was presented with a fait accompli. And that was the mishandling of this event from the start uh, by the director of television of the BBC. I just don't feel that it was handled right. I believe if it had handled uh, more intelligently and more strategically, there would have been more options for this to have a, a better outcome all the way around. I guess I was expecting the BBC to respond in this way because, OK, you know, it's a serious allegation. It had to be investigated and it had to be followed through. There had to be some kind of conclusion. But sadly, this is how I expected the BBC <laughs> to come to the conclusion. I think that there were brighter ways to do this, that there's a lot at stake with this. It's not just a question of money and the international sales, but it's a hugely popular program. But it's just the people who run this, they, they should be highly experienced. We should be looking at them for leadership on more than just pressing the nuclear button and do what everybody else would do. Yeah, I just wonder, are they looking after themselves more doing this or looking after their employees? Well, I imagine Jeremy's got more options than the BBC have, and I wonder if he's going to start a new show called Change Gear. You know, so it could be, uh, it's, it's all hands on deck on who's going to get him next. I guess James and Richard have got options. If Top Gear does continue, they can decide whether to stay with it or not. My understanding, their contract is up fairly shortly, so it might be just great timing for them to join Jeremy on another adventure, but possibly with Fox, Sky, ITV, who really want to earn some serious money and run a business like a business. Even if Top Gear continues, I've said before, I believe it's going to be damaged goods because principally you've got Jeremy, the larger than life creative genius that he is, and you've got Richard and James who are great presenters. Jeremy on his own is a big personality. The three of them together, they create the fun that comes out the screen. Without that, I don't see it working.